Mosquito. I'm just doing a quick tutorial for new players of Rust on how to play Rust. Um, as you see, we start on the beach. Um, generally, you'll start at a spawn point. You'll start with a rock and a a rock and a torch. The torch at night time. This is your worst um, thing that they'll ever give you in this game. If you run around at night time with the torch on, you will be shot by other players. Now the take notice that you've got a health bar, a water bar and a food bar um, on your right hand side down the bottom. You start with 100 food and the more you move, run around and do stuff, the more energy you'll take and then you'll start starving to death. There'll be structures around the game, like just naturally appearing structures, and around these structures you'll find these tin cans. If you use your rock to bash these tin cans, you'll get beautiful items. You'll get, like, see, a stone hatchet and a blueprint. The blueprints are very important, and I'll show you why very shortly. Now, okay, so for now we're just going to pretend we have the rock like a new starter. In this game, everything has to be gathered. So, basically, you're going to start with your rock and you're going to go find resources. We're going to climb up to this here tree. Now, trees are one of the resources. So, we're going to hit this tree uh, with the rock. It's, as you may or may not be noticing, the more I hit the tree, the more energy and food it takes and water. Um, a part of rust is really early on in the game, you want to get food and stuff sorted. Um, at the moment we need wood. So, yep, it's a very boring game. We can see a deer has appeared over there, we can't really, can't really get him at this point. We need some wood. But he would be good food if we could catch him. So here we are, gathering wood. Um, Rust is all about gathering. That's a pain in the ass. I go to go together. Now in the background you can hear a helicopter. Um, in this game helicopters will spawn in and they hunt out players and kill them, uh, regardless of who you are and what you're doing. If you go near a helicopter it will open up with rocket launchers and all types of stuff. Right, so we've got some wood. At this point we have 500 wood from bashing that tree. If we go into our menu here, you can see that we're naked. This is our storage and this is our guide of what we can make. So at this point of the game we could make a weapon. We can make a wooden spear. Now, it takes two, a minute and a half to make this spear, so what we'll do is we'll quickly bash some more tree while we wait for the spear to make. And then we're going to try and catch that deer. Um, the reason why we're still collecting wood um, is one of the primary resources in the game. I'm just gonna have it. Yep. It's all looking good. Right, so we've got 47 seconds for that. The more wood that we collect now, the better off we are. I can see the um, the deer is over there in the corner, walking around in circles, doing the same thing. Um, I want you to notice that now we're down to 75 food from doing this tree. It takes a lot of effort to swing a rock around and it uses up your um, energy quite quickly. 15 seconds left. Okay, so we've got a bunch of wood now. We won't need to. We'll go watch this deer. There it is. Okay, so the deer has spotted us and it is, it's is—it's going to leg it, it's going to run away. It knows that um, humans are dangerous. We've made a spear. We're going to put it from our infantry there. And we're going to try and catch this here deer. Okay, so... 
it's painfully obvious that the deer can run faster than we are, can. The deer is gone. So um, here we have a hemp plant. If you pick this, it will give you cloth and hemp seeds. These are called, um, well, there's also um, nodes around the joint like this. It's called a wooden node. If you collect it, it will save you from having to chop a tree down and you can just like collect random junk all over the joint. Now another thing in this game when you first start, this, if you see this rock here, this is a specific uh, node for collecting stone. So what we're going to do, we're going to bash it and you will collect mostly four things out of a rock. A rock is going to give you stones to build with, it's going to give you high quality metals, it's going to give you metal ores, and it's going to give you sulphur. Sulphur is not very important at this point, but you want to hold on to it as long as you can. Um, it's going to become the gunpowder that you use to make bullets um, and explosives later on. Um, this game is all about uh, gathering things, basically. So we're just going to smash the node until it's gone and collect up what we can. So as you can see, as the stone gets smaller, its uh, hit points go down. When it is completely gone, you've gathered all you can. All right. So now that we've gathered um, some stone, as you can see here, we have some stone. We've got some uh, two different types of metal ores and some sulphur. With that stone we can go to this toolkit and we can make a stone hatchet um, such as this one um, or a stone pickaxe. In this case we've already made a hatchet so basically we've just showed you that we can get rid of this stone now and we can make another tool. So the, the hatchet's good for cutting wood and it's, you're going to get more food out of animals. Um, so we're going to find an animal now as part of the guide. Um, it's best to gather everything that you see when you first start playing Rust. Um, everything has a use. Uh, but, you know, it, it's a good practice, but you're pretty much going to die as soon as you see someone else in this game, unless you've got friends. But don't give up, it's a good game. Alright, so at this point we're going to start starving to death. We're down to half the food that we started with. We've got to look frantically, we're looking around for animals. Um, ahead of us you can see a big structure. Um, this is one of the monument structures. It has, if you go into it, it has um, lots of underground tunnels and things and you'll come across uh, different crates that have blueprints and uh, usable items. But right now, um, okay, I guess we can do that. Uh, these barrels and crates and stuff in this game um, can contain food as well. So basically, we're starving to death. As you can see, there's a blue drum down here. We're going to go to the drum and we're just going to bash it until it opens up. It's kind of like um, Lotto, what we're going to get. So basically we got a blueprint, this is a blueprint, you can tell by the blue mark on it. You want to study this blueprint, so now we've studied it, we can make that if we have enough stone. As you can see, it, it took us a lot of energy to run down here and do that. So, well, okay, we found a crossbow. Um, that's a rather lucky thing to find this earlier in the game. For the crossbow you're going to use the same wooden, some wooden, wooden arrows, so we'll make some wooden arrows quickly. Um, this will make it a lot easier to catch deers and things. And oh my god, I found it. 
the blueprint for a revolver. So now we have the blueprint for a revolver. We can look into our weapons section, and if you see in this, it's going to have a white number for your wood because we've got enough wood, but we need cloth and we need more metal fragments. Um, metal fragments I'll try and show you shortly. Um, we need to make a kiln. Is this for real? Like. Okay, so I just found a um, blueprint, another blueprint for a cleaver, and one for a spaceman helmet, uh, kind of like a hazmat suit job. Uh, we're not doing well for food here. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pop in here and try and show you a crate. Okay, so this is one of the other devices. If you find raw oil, you can open things by holding on them going to this and if I was to put uh, raw oil in here and some wood and turn it on it would turn the oil into uh, crude oil into usable oil and here we can see we've found a crate now these are pretty rare in the game other you only find them in monuments this crate actually has a jacket <laughs> made of bones so we're going to put that jacket on and you see now we're not completely naked yeah, it has um, an armour value as well. So we are now currently starving to death. Alright. Oh, okay, so we've got another crate. If we open it up, ah, it's got the blueprint for a med kit. So we're going to study that. Now we, if we have the right ingredients we could make that medkit. We're going to climb up and get back to the surface again. Well, as you see we've got 11 uh, food left in our uh, infantry, in, in, our, in our food gauge. Um, I'm just going to pop a couple of cans because there's a chance that you find apples and things. That pants. Uh, this is unusual. Usually you find some food. Okay, a chocolate bar. Here we are, we're saved. So if I open up, um, you see we found some pants as well. We found a nice hammer and we found this chocolate bar. So we're going to eat this chocolate bar and bam, we've got our 100 health back like we had at the start. We found this um, blueprint, so we're going to study it. Um, if you notice that when we break the can, it has these blueprint fragments. Now, if you collect more and more of them, you'll get an option. So if you have 50 of them, you get an option to upgrade it to like a level 2 uh, blueprint fragment. But for now, I'll show you that if you click reveal this blueprint, it will give us a blueprint of a random type of uh, the lowest tier. So now we can make spiked, um, we can make little spiked uh, barricades that, that are really good for like base defense kind of situation. Alright, so what I've shown you so far is pretty basic. We're going to get out of this um, area, we've pretty much covered all the, um, as you can see up on top of the roof there, there's a bunch of um, crates up there. I think that if you climb up the roof somehow you can get them. So the next logical thing is um, if you don't find one of these when you've started the game with your rock and you've made your, your um, basic bow and arrow or your spear, <laughs> so have HR, um, you're going to need to another revolver. Oh wow, so yeah, we're finding m more and more blueprints, you can only read them once, so um, yeah, we'll get back to it. We've made our weapon from the start and we're starting to starve to death, we're going to find an animal.
Um, animals, there's certain types of animals, there's wolves and bears, and they're hostile animals. They'll, um, if you approach them, they will kill you, they, they'll bite you until you're dead. Even if you've got a decent weapon, there's a good chance you're going to die. But there's also non-hostile um, animals. Somewhere. So basically we're going to look through the forest. Um, at the same time, we're going to we're going to look into our um, options here with the leaf, and we're going to make a piece of paper. Um, this is important for base building purposes. I really can't find any animals. Okay, so also you can pick up food off the ground, mushrooms, uh, like a base um, emergency food uh, kind of thing. If you're starving to death, you'll also find these nodes, which are like a junk food node. You'll find bottled water, so you can basically just drink it or you can carry it. Um, we're going to just drink it all in this case. You can put more, you can refill those bottles of water. We're going to eat the can of tuna. We've made our piece of paper now, so if we go to this inkwell, the one piece of paper can be made into a building plan. So we're going to craft this building plan. Also, a wooden hammer is required. Now, these, these are um, part of your, they're, they're your main tools for base building. Uh, we've got some nice blueprints there, we're going to eat this apple. Um, as you say, you like walking along power lines and roads is the best way to get ahead in this game. But in saying if it if it was a populated um, server, everybody will be walking up and down along these power lines, and there's a good chance that you're going to die. All right, so I'm just going to grab some wood and give you a basic rundown on building. I'm going to need a thousand wood make a toolbox. Chop, chop, chop. Right, like, like I said, you have to gather a lot in this game. that's going to do for now, for the purpose of this. Um, so when you found a place that you think is like really nice and you want to build there and... Uh, oh, well, here we go. Uh, back to what I was saying, if you press the R button on your weapons it will reload your weapons. In this case we're going to load this. We're going to aim it at the horse's head, and the horse didn't like that. So we're going to, um, it didn't kill the horse to shoot it in the head. It's running off, so we're going to take chase. Um, hopefully it will stop. I mean, I'm pretty sure a pig would have been easier. We can, it's turning night time, but we can see the horses on the other side of the ridge there, just going into the trees. We're going to track it down and kill it. I mean, uh, your first encounters in Rust of killing things are probably going to be animal creatures like horses and stuff. Alright, so... I guess you can't really see. Um, this is a bad thing to do, but I'm just going to do it. We've shot the horse. The horse has died in the bush here. Um, poor horse. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get our hatchet and we're going to chop this horse. As you chop the horse, it's going to give you um, bits of bone and cloth and leather. Right, 
so I'm just going to have a look and see if there's any horse left. When you've mined the horse to death, it's gone. Um, so the next step, we've we've killed an animal and we want to eat it. Um, of course, the horse is going to give you chicken meat. Um, that's rust. We are looking for a campfire, so we're going to make a campfire now quickly. Uh, the campfire is going to take us a minute, so... Uh, okay. It's beautiful and dark outside, we can't see anything. Um, this is... If I had another player with me I could show you, but if you turn your torch on at night time in rust, and you're running around, um, this, you will be shot, someone will shoot you, you stand out by miles, like people can see you from the other side of the map over there with your torch going. It's a bad, bad thing that new players will do. Um, if you've got nothing on you and you're dying or getting chased or something, um, you're best to be running around in the dark. I mean, if you don't know where you're going and you don't have anything to lose, fair enough, use it. I didn't realise this night's going to be so... Um... Alright. So, what we've done here, we've just completed building our um, campfire. Uh, it costed us a hundred wood, that's why we were cutting the trees earlier. We found a patch of ground that looks pretty reasonable, we're going to put it in our belt. We're going to put this here campfire on the ground. Now, okay, it's hard at night. So this is what the campfire looks like at night time. If you hold your E button on it, it will have an open and a light the fire. So you're going to open this up. It'll have 50 wood in it to start. And you're going to get your uh, raw chicken that we got from the horse, go figure. And you want to split it down to what, the smallest amounts of um, meat that you can. And then press the turn on button. And, and that will start the fire. Um, if you were to open it up again, you would see the energy lightning bar on the chicken. That means the chicken is cooking. Um, also, when you burn wood in a fire, it'll create charcoal. Um, it's very important to collect all your charcoal. Uh, everything takes a little bit of time here. Um, another thing to be um, to make sure of, like this is what I was talking about before, at night time you can be far away from a light source. I mean, um, a person with a torch is way brighter than this fire, so people will be hunting you in the, in the, in the dark and they will want your, um, your everything. They will kill you just for the fun of it. So we're going to put the meat in here. We'll take this bit of wood. We don't need this fire anymore. We've sort of proven our point. Press your number 6 key, eat it and you see now we've eaten the chicken. So in the start of the game if you need food, kill something cook it and then uh, you've done well. Uh, it's really hard to show you what we're doing at night time. So um, basically what I'm going to do is bash a couple of cans until the moon comes up or the sun comes up. Um, actually really I should just cut some more wood to show you base building techniques. We're going to, as you can see, the um, durability of my axe is going downhill. And uh, we're cutting wood as best we can. As you can see, the moon has come out and it's starting to brighten up now, so we can actually see what we're doing. have some wood and as you can tell it's raining so we're going to become wet it's okay in the lowlands in the forest and that to get wet um, it's not a problem but as soon as you go up into the mountains where the snow is um, being wet is a big problem so at this point we're going to get your blueprint that you made out of the piece of paper and your hammer now 
if you were to select your blueprint, the first thing that comes up is a wooden base, um, a wooden foundation. Uh, everything comes in levels, so you can build your house pretty much everywhere you want. We're just going to quickly make a little toy house, as one would call. Now, if you hold your right click button, it's going to give you an option of everything you can make. Um, at this point, we're going to want a doorway to get in. We're going to make some walls. At, at, um, so just uh, just just for the sake of it, we're going to make this a two-story house. So we're going to put a stairway in to go up. Oh my god! Okay, so uh, if you see an airplane and a crate drops down there, you, if you get to that crate first, um, it has really advanced weaponry and stuff. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, when you start building stuff in this game, anybody can come and build stuff on your house. So we're going to make a tool cabinet. It costs a thousand wood. Do you want three biscuits or nothing? No thanks. I don't want biscuits. We're going to make this uh, tool chest. and What it's going to do is it's going to stop other people from being able to um, enter a house. We're also going to craft a door for our house. And we're going to put some flooring in for a roof. So while this toolbox is uh, making, I'm going to get some more wood. Um, this is probably going to run a little bit long for a YouTube clip, but uh, it's okay. There's so many new players at the moment due to Rock being on special this week. Alright, so we've broken our hatchet. Um, yep, we could either fix that on a repair bench, but because of what it is, it's not really worth it. Um, if it was like a steel, a more advanced type of um, hatchet, that would probably be what we would do. Now, as you can see, this is the house that we've built. It's made out of twigs at the moment, so basically it's useless. Um, anyone can smash a twig wall down with an axe. Uh, it's basically the base foundation. So this hammer that we created earlier, out of a hundred wood, um, this is made specifically for upgrading your house. Um, so another thing I want to point out is if you look at this wall, it has the cross members on the inside and it does not have them on the outside. You want to always have your cross members on the inside. It's the way the walls are meant to make. Otherwise, um, they're easier to break out of a house than it is to break into one. So, If you were to right click, it gives you options. Um, we can upgrade this to a wood, upgrade it to stone, um, sheet metal, and armoured if you've got all those items that is requested in the middle. So right now we'll upgrade it to wood. This is what it looks like. You can see we'll turn it to a log cabin. It's um, durability it's now 250 as opposed to 10 and that, that is basically you're going to go through the whole house now this is the tool chest we were talking about when you build a house you're going to need to put a tool chest in um, if you click it and authorize you see above your health bar it gives you a building privilege or a block privilege you want to hide this um, if you're building this house uh, say for example, we've already upgraded all these walls and stuff around here. You want to hide these where people will never ever find them. Um, for some reason it won't let me build that wall. Wonderful. Oh yeah, that's what we wanted to do. Oh, this is how easy it is to break in a, a, um, a wall. So once you've got um, your building privilege here, uh, that, that means that only you can build your house. Um, so now we can put that wall in there like that. We can put our staircase back in. Um, Alright, this is the basic of your house. Um, you can continue to build this, put roofs on there, you can put windows in. I'll just quickly show you that you can also build a door. 
and you put a door in here. Anyone can open and close your door. Um, as a new starter, you will have the option to make a lock. It is, um, it's important to lock your house uh, when you leave. People will just walk in and take all your stuff. Um, it's pretty obvious. Uh, when, when we've made this lock, When we've made this lock, we'll apply it to the door. Okay. Yes, child. Can watch your game? You can watch, honey. Alright, so we've built the lock. We're going to put the lock on the door. So basically, you, you select it. We're going to look at the door. And it's going to say, yep, okay. Now, because this is your house, you can make a key out of 40 wood. So now we have a key to our door. So if okay, I'm going to throw this key on the ground. Okay, that's our door key. So if I wanted to open or close this door without the key, it's not going to work. It's it's locked. The thing with a door key is that if you're killed with your door key, someone else is going to pick up your door key and they are going to use it to get into your house. So you want to find a, a bush somewhere around your house and you want to make like a um, some kind of hidden small stash out of cloth, that, that's good enough. If you make this and hide it somewhere, don't be obvious where it is. You can hide your key, and then, but if someone kills you, you're not you're gonna know where your key is. And that that is basically the basics to building. Later on, um, the blueprints will provide you with a lock, which is a code lock. So um, you get a four-digit code. It's a lot better than the key option. Um, yeah. So building onto that house, you basically, if you wanted to build onto it anymore, you would just choose whatever you want to put on the roof or, you know, you can put nice roofs on there, you can make a, tire, a tower as high as the, uh, the sky, um, to a point, um, every, every structure as you see has a 86% uh, stable for this piece. Um, the stability of your structure is how high you can build. Once you start getting below 20% stable, you, your structure becomes unstable and if someone shoots it, there's a possibility it's just going to fall over. So, um, worry about your stability. So, um, here we have that uh, stash box. So, this is just for an example. If you hide this stash in this bush here, like this, you can put your key in there, um, go off and do your things, do everything. Um, no one can come into your house without your permission. Um, you know, they can knock on your door, They can. that's all they can do. And then when you're finished, come back to where you've hidden your key and get it back. Uh, but make sure people aren't watching you when you go get your key back. Um, I think that's about enough for this. That's basically the basics to this game, um, besides the fact, like I said, if you have these blueprint fragments, you can upgrade them, uh, if you have like a thousand, you can upgrade them to a top tier, like this is a tier two uh, blueprint, so if I reveal it, wow, well, we get an acoustic guitar, um, it's added to our list of things that we can make, but basically, with basically, uh, by the looks of it on this server, everything is unlocked. <laughs> wow, I didn't realise that when I picked it. So it's, as you can see there's a code lock here for your door, um, chain link fences, you know, lots of guns. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so that's it for me, it's Mighty Mosquito. Um, if you ever catch up with me in Rust, say hello. Uh, yeah, um, if you have any questions, Ask people in uh, ask people in the chat about the questions, um, but it, don't expect much of a positive reply. Um, Rust is kind of not that. Cool.
kind of game where people are going to help you there unless you have friends so um, you know a word of advice play this game with friends um, another thing I forgot to say if you hold the V button and you have a microphone you can talk and you talk amongst the characters and they can hear you and your face moves that type of bullshit alright thank you very much uh, YouTube people enjoy your new game of Rust and uh, yeah fly safe fly safe yep shoot to kill don't trust anyone and don't use your torch at night time thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll bid you all goodbye and yes that's what I want to do yep that's the stop button no save me <laughs> awkward